The setup shown here is uh, the setup you'll use for demonstration purposes and the type of setup that students will have in each of their lab groups. Uh, that is two tubs filled with uh, cold tap water. Uh, the colder the better. In fact, you might want to even chill some water if your tap water is not cold enough with some ice uh, for students to use. Um, both tubs should have about the same amount of water in them. And for the demonstration, you're going to show students, okay, we have these two tubs, same amount of water. We can check to see that the temperature is the same. Uh, and under one, we're going to put a um, just a cup with nothing in it. And notice all of them have four cups around the side as supports. So warn students that you know you can't take them off the supports, uh, the tubs off the supports, otherwise the water might spill. So to get that cup underneath, you do have to lift um, the tub up, which I'm gonna do here, put the camera down for a moment. Okay, I've slid it underneath, but I've disturbed the water as I did so, so I want the water to settle out before I put any dye in. Uh, I'll prepare the other cup, which is with some hot water. And instead of really hot water, this is just some warm tap water, about 100 to 110 degrees. I'm gonna only use half a cup to kind of give students the idea that, oh geez, I wonder what would happen if maybe we did more water or different temperature. I'm gonna slide this under uh, this tub. When you're pulling in the food coloring, just do a light squeeze on the bulb and keep the tip in contact with the food coloring. Show students that too. They want to avoid getting air bubbles in it. That has already an air bubble near the end, so I'm gonna try again. And again, light squeeze, not a heavy squeeze. Release while in contact with the food coloring the whole time. And now I have a nice continuous stream of food coloring on the end. Um, I'm gonna dab the, dab the tip, and I think I'm good to go. All right, so let's take a look at the next step. We're going to show students that in the room temperature water, we're gonna put red dye over the cup, the middle cup. Put my eyedropper in very slowly. Squeeze very slowly and continuously. We're gonna make a little pool of food coloring over it. See, that's plenty of food coloring. Then I'm going to slowly release the bulb and pull away so that I don't leave a lot of trail of food coloring behind. And do the same on the warm one. Again, dabbing the end of it so that there's nothing bleeding off the end when I put the eyedropper in. You'll want to practice this a couple times yourself. Slowly deploy, slowly squeeze. See, I got a little air bubble there. That was a little problematic. Okay, and then release the bulb and slowly pull out along the line that I put it in. Okay, so I've got two setups going right now. On this side, don't see a lot. On this side, I did disturb the water a little bit, but what students will see even when you don't do that is they'll start seeing some trails of red coming up from the bottom. A puddle of dye and the set. Coming back here on this side we'll see right now after a couple minutes the blue there's like a little streamer of it it seems like it's being pulled or pushed and in reality it's being pushed uh, to 